welcome back. Here's what's coming up on today's episode. Is that not the way that the women from the Prokes died? This is the what? The what? The what? The what? <laughs> the Prokes. Who are they? I just feel like standards are really low if you're getting a tap on the shoulder to say, hi, Leonardo DiCaprio wants to throw it in you and then leave you. <laughs> hi, girlies. Hello. Hi, the birthday girl. Hi. I know. It's your birthday. I'm, I'm gonna do what older. I like. I'm gonna wear what I like. Did you have a good birthday? I did. You girls did very, very well. Thank you very much. How lucky was that though? It was like the perfect setting. Super hot day. Yep. So nice. Basically a holiday. It was. For one day. It was stunning. It was so warm actually. Like I genuinely have ginger skin. What it runs doing? I do though. It run, but ginger's so she prominent does. in my family. She does. Like so it is. But it really, really skin is. is pale and freckles. I, well, I wish that was me. But the sun <laughs> aggravates me. The right. sun aggravates Did me. Did you get burnt? No, I didn't, because remember, I was putting on the Kids Factor 50. Oh. Surprising for you, you're usually a burner. I I am a burner. Every single year, I am telling myself, because, you know, I'm off on holiday and leaving you girls. Mm-hmm. You are. <laughs> I wonder what we'll do without you, Lauren. Oh. I wonder what will be in that seat. Oh, what will be in this seat? But yeah, we went to Balmaha, Loch Lomond. Yeah. We went for a quite a hike before we got there, didn't we? That was utterly terrifying, actually. Literally around a cliff. Well, you was worried because see, the first time I ever did that walk, I told you before, Charlie had not long turned two, therefore was only just steady on his feet. Yeah. And I remember thinking, this is like, you know when you're at the gym and you're doing like a really hard exercise and you're going, I need to do it for my family. My yeah. family's life depends on it. See that exact <laughs> feeling, right? Do you do that? No. Self-motivating. I don't go to the gym, so. Right, no, but see that wee thing, I literally go like, you must do this burpee or your family will perish and burn. Right. It's really? Cost, yeah, it's motivation, right? right? Okay, I need to try that. Is this That's what, really is it, dark. Is this when I get told I'm an absolute psychopath? Yes. <laughs> anyway, that exact feeling was literally being lived out in real life the first time I ever took him over that wee side cliff thing because I was humping all the stuff, therefore I had no hands and I was going, just keep right. And he's going, I don't know But what it's right a is. sheer drop. It's like a cliff front drop and yeah. then into the, into the, into the loch. loch. Into the loch. You have to say it like that, loch. It's not a loch. It's a loch. It's a loch. Loch Lomond. Loch. I was disappointed to see so, no sailboats. I can't lie. Why? Because you they, did see sailboats. There was no sailboats. There sure was. The no, Marina. they were not sailboats. They had no boom or mass. You are a pain. I am a sailor. <laughs> and I thought it was a lovely day and people were missing a trick. But we have set the next goal of jet skis. It looks out and jet so skis. fun. I, Honestly, I've never been a jet fun. ski in my life. Me neither. How have we got to this age and not done that? I don't and know. I think I'd be scared. I think I would literally be like four miles an hour on Same. it. Like terrified to go fast in case I skidded or like flipped. Is that not the way that the women from the Prokes died? This is the, the what? The what? <laughs> the what? The Prokes. Who are the Prokes? What are they called? The Pokes. <laughs> They're not called the Prokes. <laughs> Just like a wee R in Don't there. Don't check, please. Just trust us, it's the Pogues. The Pogues. <laughs> Your face is going to hold that in colour. I just love that so much. The Progs. I don't even the Progs. No, it's the Pogues. The Pogues. Her, is that not how she died, though? The Pogues. She I think you're, by you're, you're, you're scumbag, you're maggot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Her. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's definitely the Pogues, for sure. The Pogues. Yeah, but it does make me scared. I was actually a wee bit scared yeah. when the guys were out in the jet skis and we were like... They knew what they were doing, though. Yeah, but what if they just... Something that just went wrong and they just went straight for us? I know, Yeah, and also the other thing is, for me, I would do the whole Final Destination thing of going, what if I flip that upside down? I then go under it and next minute I'm chewed through the motor and then yeah. I'm gone and then I'm fish food. Oh, my God. <sighs> that fish is food. the best <laughs> flavour of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, FYI. Yeah. It really is. Fish food, that is. Very much as so. But yeah, but yeah we need fun. to do we need to get a wee list of summer activities that we need to do. Yeah. Because you're not going away till September. Mm-hmm. You're going away start of the summer and I'm not going away at all. Yeah. So our summer holidays need to be full of activities. Mm-hmm. And we need to start, <coughs> and this is a memo for everybody, we need to start living in our own country like a tourist. Hundred percent. Million percent. Literally like things to live by. Treat Scotland like you've seen it for the first time. Yes. Go and do your day trips, go and do your jet skis or your tours or whatever. Just go and, go and live well, it. Well, see the fact that I know that you guys are up freaking in the water. Yeah. That's good because like yeah. in, in my shed, you know, I've got the paddle boards and the kayak. Yeah, I would love to do the paddle Like board everything thing. like that. Like it's all yeah. there. It's like it's like a clown cupboard though. Like I fully imagine you open that and it's like, hi, hey! Like all these things fall out. <laughs> literally it. Yeah. That is literally it. <laughs> got the life jackets, like got it all ready to go. Yep. We should do the paddle boarding for sure. That is actually really fun. That you swim, Ailey? 
I can swim, yeah. Can you? Are you Surprising? confident swimmer? Yeah. Do you know Not what I in do? middle of Loman, but I can I can swim. I do always remember us going away, and I'm trying to remember, was it when we were at Duckley? And we went to the pool. Mm-hmm. And then I remember saying that I'm like a really good swimmer. And then obviously Aussie Andy was like, yeah, yeah. but I'm like basically a, a water baby. Yeah. Yeah. And I it's remember like me and him angry racing each other yeah. in the pool. That's his hung over. Trick. Yeah, hung over is the best way to wipe out a hangover, by the it way. It is. Everybody but, a pool. wow. Andy likes to swim. The Andy's party trick, anywhere you go if there's a pool, is swimming underwater back and forward and back and forward and holding his breath. I don't know how he does it. And the thing is, he's literally like a child in the sense that he gives the golden retriever energy of watch this and you know you've got about a good minute of not watching it. Of just chatting and, and chatting. chatting and then he goes, <gasps> and Sergey goes, that was amazing, Andy. Oh my God, well, do it again. Such a swimmer, right? And they'll go, that's him back playing again. <laughs> Ailey's actually now. a mother of three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, literally. But he loves it. If he's not shown anyone that before, then that's the first thing he'll do. Like, yes, we're going trip. swimming. Do you know what, though, I must shine. admit, pe- people in swimming pools, right, girls get away with having wet hair more so than guys can. See, when guys go into the water and then they submerge and they have the wee, like, loy Christmas fringe. Yes. Yeah. Can't bear it. Or even just a slick back when it looks pure wet and it looks like, um, it reminds me of Cal from Titanic when everything's pure. Oh. Do you know what I mean? Like, held in place with, it's like, almost lard. Like a bit made, oh, it's like made in Chelsea. Yeah. yeah. Binky. My podcast. My podcast, <laughs> by the way. We actually, I started, like, nudging you on the way back to the car when we were bringing our stuff back down the way, which the, the walk back was definitely easier than the walk there because it was mostly fit well, and all that. Yeah. Until the bin bag burst on the cliff front, that wasn't the easiest part. No, it wasn't an easy clean-up, but we managed. We managed it, but in FYI, if MD works for any local councils, could you put some fucking bins places that you know people go? Oh There's not God, a single bro. bin. There's there not was a not bin. one. Not a single bin. But here's the thing, as we were walking back, did you not realise there was a group of like students behind us and uh-huh. they all had that... Accent. Accent. Yeah. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. It was like, I just love coming to Balmaha, you guys. It's just yeah. great. It's just great. Just coming well, to Balmaha. When we came <laughs> off the cliff as well, and that whole group of them were on the pier, and it was like a fucking frat party. It really was. It, they were all like jumping in and stuff, and it was like, what the fuck are you doing? All they needed to do was shout Chad Hogan Spring Break and do one of them wee rock and roll signs, and then yeah. that would have been the, it would have been fully Spring Break. Yeah. What about you last night? At the football. Oh my god. I find oh, this so fun. Fu- it seems so out of character. I can just imagine all the guys and they're like stinking clothes right all in their football <laughs> tops with their beer and just like pure stinking and then you come in like hey like legally blonde yeah. or something with your wee coffee and your camera like hey everyone this is so much fun <laughs> <laughs> let's go boys let's go you realise that you're a woman at the football when you accidentally let out a woohoo instead of clapping <laughs> <laughs> actually, I actually did that. Woo! And then went, oh God, wrong place. Stop I'm wooing. Did you join in the chants? What chants though? I don't know. You always hear them singing, but they, you know, yeah, guys do the whispering voice. Because, no, oh my God, Ella was there with me as well and she actually said to me, she turned around and went, why is Charlie doing that voice? Yeah, they all have it. They all do it. Oh, what, they pure drop it right down. Yeah, really and it's yeah. Really, really... This is what he said. This is literally rather than going, come on, Rangers. Wait, come on, the Rangers. Yeah. Come on, the Teddy oh. Bears. That's the voice. Uh-huh, it's a different accent completely. And it's fully him trying to be his dad. Yeah. It's so Who funny. also doesn't speak like that unless also, at the football. Yep, it's a whole language. It's a whole language and it all blends into one. But I do actually like the football, I have to say. I know I'm own. Right, but I actually do like football, and I know all the players. I actually know who they all are. Because of Charlie, because Charlie. Knows because yeah. Charlie, that's, I, I kind of need to keep up with it because it's his interest. Mm-hmm. So if I choose not to be into it, then I basically have nothing to talk to him about. That he's actually going to want to speak to me about. Yeah. So anyway, I went, and oh my god, right. So basically, we went to this. Like we got tickets for Bar Seventy Two. It's like it's not, it's not corporate, but it's kind of like you get to go in and get a wee bit of food beforehand. Mm-hmm. So it's like, like a self serve buffet tables you get a wee drinks token and then there's like a different bit that you sit at so it's like it was really fun anyway got them through my dad's work which was a really nice gesture and took the kids got a wee bit early and got some food and all that so we went to sit down but the way you're sitting is virtually next to the corner where all the away fans are right Mm -hmm. and you inevitably see all the rangers fans a big group of stewards separating them from some seats and then the away fans, mm-hmm. right? So it was Rangers and Dundee. So all the Dundee fans were standing and they were all like shouting at each other. But it was it was quite amicable, to be fair. It wasn't like how I imagine like an old firm to be, right? Yeah. Are they, are they kind of laughing while they're doing it? So, are so the not boys that were serious? there. No, so the Rangers boys that were there that were kind of, there was a, it was quite an empty stadium, to be honest, last night. It was kind of probably, I would say, 
two thirds full, right? You could see loads of empty seats just because mm-hmm. it was a midweek thing. Anyway, there was these boys and they were just like steaming, pure having a fun time, like cuddling each other, like pure bromance, like they were quite young. Anyway, they were kind of laughing because all the Dundee fans, they, they scored twice, right? Like Dundee scored. And the, the boys from the Rangers side, they were basically all over and they were shouting at them as in like Dundee fans were like, yeah. get up, yes, and all that kind of stuff, right? And these guys, right, see rather than going like, and, like swearing back, they started like having their fingers as if they were doing the orchestra. <laughs> and then one of them was kind of like going like, come on then, encore, right? It was yeah. so funny. The way that they were acting, they were going, we can't hear you, louder, louder, just winding them up while they're going like for, they're going yeah. for, for guts kind of thing, right? So that kind of happened and Charlie's obviously looking over and watching what's getting, like what's happening or what's like trying to hear what's being said. And then anyway, so time then passed by and then it turned around and we, one was at 5-2, I think it ended up being, right? It was like mm-hmm. quite quite the turnaround. Yeah. And I was, I was sitting, right? And Charlie had his arm over me. So I'm on the left, he's on my right and then the away fans were like next to him, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. He had his arm around me and he was just quite relaxed. And I noticed these guys at the corner of my eye like in the kind of row in front of me were absolutely gutting themselves. And I was like, what are they laughing at? And I looked and I swear to God, to my horror... To my actual horror, Charlie was trying out something that he'd obviously seen the two fans oh dear. doing to each other, right? Yeah. Don't. You need to go and get the video version of this on YouTube right now, okay? Because this free episode will be on YouTube. I turned around and Charlie was looking at all the away fans going like this with oh, his hands. Oh, no. So as if he's holding something. Oh, yeah, and then he turned it to that. Oh, now he's wanking something. He was showing the wanking <laughs> sign to all the away fans like that. But and I went, Charlie, went, what? I went, what are you doing? He was like, they were doing it to each other. And I went, no, you can't do that. Yeah. I was like, that is so bad. And Ella was going, what was he doing? I went, never mind. And he was like, what is that? I was like, that is worse than the middle finger. Like, you actually can't ever, ever do that again. And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know it was a bad word. He said, I thought I was just like like whatever just winding them up but I was like Charlie that's really awful he was having his arm around his mum like that's a big fan <laughs> age seven get it up yes so bad I mean yeah. they learn a lot of the football they learn a lot they? of the football right but it's a life like, lesson wowee that is quite something it's very hard when you're supposed to to rank how bad stuff is though do we get that when yeah. you're like right is that as bad as the F word or is that worse or can I say that and you're like oh I don't know actually like sometimes you can say it, sometimes you can't. I'm going to say the wank sounds pretty bad. The wank sounds pretty right up there. Yeah, is it up there with the C words. But it, yes. Is it? Oh, I think C words sure. like top tier. No, but the wanking gesture. Yeah, it's, it's very. It's like um, watching a dog walk with his hind legs, seeing your seven year old son give the wanking gesture yeah, like a, a, to all the away fans. A preview of, of, of the future when he's like a grown up at the football. It will never be a preview of anything. I don't want him ever to do football that. Football hooligan. Oh no, that's, what, that's just what they get like when they're at the football though, surely. No. They'll get the fake voice to do all that. No, come like on. It's like awful. A, it's like a whole new character yeah. when they play the football. Starter pack. Football fan starter pack. And oh, then they come was... out and it's like something just goes, oh, okay, shake right, that off. Back to normal back life. Back to normal life. Normal That's... voice is back. Yeah, little more least. But here's the thing. Can you imagine all the guys and, well, the and women as well watching that and going, because I'm obviously looking the other way at the pitch. Not a clue what's going on. That could have been going on for like 10 minutes for I all just, I know. I thought you were going to say he was on the big screen. Oh, he may as well have been. Is it a big screen? Is that a he real thing? He may as know. well have been because everyone was looking at him, yeah. gutting themselves. Mm. Can, can you imagine? I can see it right now. Mum bloggers' son. Could have been on the telly. Was yeah. That, it was on the telly last night as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was on the telly last night. Could you imagine though? Kind of funny. It would have been really funny. To be fair, when I told Fraser the story, I, like, I actually couldn't stop laughing. Got myself. So yeah, Charlie was doing the wanking gesture. Oh. All, the, all the away fans. Mm. But he okay. he was it was it was comedy value to be fair. Mm-hmm. Everyone around really enjoyed it. That's Sometimes fine. you just need to laugh. Swearing's funny. It you is. Need, I find it's so it. hard not to laugh when, like, I've obviously told the kids, you're not allowed to swear uh-huh. ever, right? You're not allowed to swear, and so every now and then they pick up something for somebody else, and it comes back and you from just somebody don't else lie. being. You. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is. But yeah, sometimes you overhear it and you're like, no, nope, not like to say that. Well, Jack's in high school now, so I feel like it's becoming more of his daily, like, kind of picking it up. Yeah. Then just be bits and bobs, like, he'll drop something, you can hear him in his room going, oh, shit. I'm like, right. I know. But, but then, then I say it all the time. Yeah, and at what age is it, is it okay? Because, like, I swear I'm in front of my mum all the time. See, I, my mum and dad don't like me swearing, so I still do do that thing where if I'm really angry and I swear and I'll, I'll look them dead in the eye to, like, 
assert my authority that I'm an adult and I'm allowed to say this word. Do you stare them down? Yeah, I see it sometimes like, Don't you dare pick me up on this. I am so fucking angry. And then I'm like, don't get me any trouble. <laughs> it's okay that I said that. I'm allowed to say it to my dad. I just never swear in front of my mum, ever. So we've like, got a wee rule. We've got a wee rule in our house, right? That say if you want to go and practice it, you can do it in your room. Yeah. Like in the mirror. You know, like, so, so see if you want to say TikTok it. Trend? Uh, no, was it, wasn't it? No, the TikTok trend was to leave the phone and say you can yeah. say whatever you want. But we've always said, like, look, you're not allowed to say that. See if you are dying to say that word. Go into your room, close the door and say it. That's a good way to And do that's it. fine. If yeah. you want to say it in your room, that's fine. Don't say it in front of other people. Don't say it to anybody. If you want to swear, I'm allowing you to go and say whatever swear word you want in your room. Not when you're on FIFA. But just generally, yeah. in your space, go and do it. That's FIFA fine. FIFA is the worst though. It brings out it brings out a devil in people. It really does. Yeah. I have never seen people get more frustrated than when they're playing that game. True. Or Fortnite. My friends, we boy, we got told that same thing, right? You're not allowed to swear, but you can swear in your head. You're allowed oh, to think because yeah. he was very clever. Like, am I allowed to think swear words? And she's like, yeah. So whenever they would like fall out about something, or I'd get told to, like go to your room, he would just stare at her. Oh, and you're like, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. It's like a witch. Like I'm putting, a, I'm putting a spell on you yeah. right now. Am I still allowed to swear in my head? I remember That's my mum used to do that thing of like, I know what you're thinking. And I'd be going, no, you don't. And she goes, I do because I was your mum and I made you, so I actually know what you're thinking right now. And then part of me would go. My head tells me that that's wrong, but also <laughs> kind of scared. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she used to also do a thing when we were younger. Like, say, for example, that she just knew something was up with me and my brother. She would be like, mm, something's happened at school or whatever. She would get us to come in and go, have you got anything you need to tell me? And we'd be like, no, genuinely not. And I'd be looking at him going, have you done something? Because I've not done something. <laughs> and he'd go, no, I've definitely not done something. And I'd be going, how? And she's like, just remember, I work in that area as in like the town. Mm-hmm. I work in that area and loads of other mums work in my work and people like to talk. So if you've got anything you need to tell me, tell me now. And she then she starts spilling your guts. Start spilling your guts. Mm-hmm. She had, had no fact yeah. anything had happened. Yeah. It was a wee power play. That's really clever actually. I've done it with Jack by the way and it does work. She can Because you can tell the when there's something wrong and they're not telling Especially you. Especially if you were to say, you better tell me now. I, I won't, if you tell me now, I won't be angry. Yeah. And see, now, and you have to yeah. stick to that though. You yeah. have to stick see, to that. See, now as an adult though, you know for a fact that if there's any problems with somebody else's kids, you never go and tell the parent. When do you genuinely, unless you're really pushed to do it, see if you hear a wee bit of gossip about somebody else's teenager, you wouldn't be like, here, I heard your teenager's doing X, Y, Z. Nobody does that. Yeah. So, mum, I now know. <laughs> I know your secret. I know your secret and I'm definitely using it when they're older. <laughs> yeah. I used to do that to the kids. I used to be like, do you need the toilet? You know that way they're pure dancing about and you go, I can see, I used to say to them, I can see it in your eyes. You need to go to the toilet. And then for years onwards, it'd be like, Mum, I need to go to the toilet before I go. <laughs> You're staying but, in the uh, like, I, I need to keep this cool. up. <laughs> yeah. Or do you, ever have that, do you ever have that thing where you go, I'm going to check the cameras in? Uh, the cameras. And also, I need to know what happens. I'm going to check the cameras. Stick your tongue out was my other one. Oh, yeah. If it's blue, your you're lying. Blue, uh-huh. So they would say something, I'd go, tell me the truth. And then I'd go, stick your tongue out. Oh, it's blue. You're lying. They'd be or like, oh. your nose is growing because you're telling lies. And then Marcus would be like, I'm not. Mum, honestly, I didn't do anything. Pushing Covering it back in. Constantly. <laughs> well, we get into our DMs because we put on a wee thing last week asking for urban legends. Yeah. Yep. On the back of the oh, whole the Beckham of, story oh that I'm pretty sure a lot of people are fed up of hearing, but it's been a big talking point. It, it has, has been. been. We literally, our studio that we record within have been doing other filming for <clears> other places <throat> and somebody actually came in and went, oh, did you hear that story about the Beckhams on that podcast? And they were like, they film in here. Yeah. <laughs> we film here. The, we the film Beckham here. story is amazing because the amount of comments, right, on that TikTok that say this is definitely not true. Heard it twenty years ago. It's been yep. going about. It used to be Cameron House. It used to be Mar Hall mm-hmm. yeah. and all different celebrities. Like it's been Taylor Swift at one point. Whatever. Taylor it's Swift. just yeah, but a made up many, story. How many people have the money, right? Yeah. To want something, not saying it was definitely the Beckhams or whatever, but how many people have probably done that before? Yeah, it, going, it literally I, could have happened that many times they, that people have heard it. They might it. just own a business. Yeah. But going, I need that date in this venue and I'm going to pay whatever you want to get it. Yeah. So here, have your wedding paid for, have your car paid for, have your honeymoon paid for, like whatever. 
but I'm doing it and yeah. I'm having that date. But also, we did get people, um, the amount of people who's like, it was my hairdresser's yep. sister's <laughs> friends. It was actually... You're going to make a compilation of this for TikTok, by the yeah. way, because it's actually at the point where we're, it's so funny because everyone's so sure that it's yeah. like... Oh, so, sorry. Oh. Yeah, everyone's so sure that it's it's definitely happened. It's like uh -huh. my taxi driver said that blah yeah. blah blah. It was that and it was said his that. son. It was my taxi driver's son. Actually, it's definitely true. <laughs> and you're like, how have you been able to look through all the comments in here and see all the different versions of that story and go, no, but my one's definitely true. Yeah, and also, why has the couple it happened to uh -huh. not reached out to us? And yeah. by the way, I know this has been on your podcast and it's it's gained such because massive traction online. They've probably had to sign an NDA, but it slipped out anyway. If that has genuinely happened, they would have had to sign. A, they would have had to have signed an NDA. One million percent. One of the top comments know. is like, "It is a true story, but it's actually for next year. It's uh, twenty twenty five for David's fiftieth." Can yeah, you imagine, right? If somebody turns around, right, and goes, "Right, here I am. It's me. It's the person whose date was changed and mortgage was paid off. I'm the taxi driver's sons, hairdressers. <laughs> I know friends, all these people. Yeah, beauticians, best pals, dogs, walkers, and a." That's me. Yeah. <laughs> and it all adds up and we go, it was true after all. But I did message somebody back because she said, I actually know the person that this is. And I was like, right, let's get her on the pod then. Let's get her to send us a voice note and confirm yeah, it. And um, but we thought we would get some other... Have they replied or have they shot it? They've not replied. Have they seen it? But it does make me think of like when you're younger, right? And you hear a story like that and you're so convinced that it's true. Yeah. And somebody will be like, no, nah, I don't believe that. And you'll be like, no, it is actually because it's my like friend's sister. You just confirm it, and that's what this is. Friend like, being that the version. woman that you've like overheard in the shop yeah. talking about, it and you're yeah. like, "What's that you're saying?" This is the other thing. The amount of people in the comments that were like, well, "That one's been going about for years. How have you not heard that?" Not everyone's heard it because somebody's just assumed that we've heard this one. No idea what it is. For sure, the crabs slash fruit pastel story in high school. Sorry, what? What, what was what that? Are you talking about? Please, we haven't this. heard it. Maybe it was like the a crabs thing. fruit pastel story. Uh huh. Crabs and fruit pastel. Is this them trying to say that the fruit pastel colours come from crabs? Don't know. Could you do know that beetles are actually know, used that for fruit colouring? Yeah. Do you know that's a real yeah, thing? Yeah, I knew that one, but right, let's I'm taking it. if it's high school and I'm saying crabs, I'm to, I'm going to assume. Yeah, there's something, there's something right, different kind then, of crabs. Cra was it crab? Crabs and fruit, fruit pastel story. Pa I can't spell fruit pastel uh, story. Uh, oh my God, look at you, English queen over here. Oh yeah. Guys, um, I can't say that we can find this. This must be a very niche. Yeah, we need is. more niche information please, please, on that please, one. Please. Right, this one, not a celebrity one, but legend has it. I love when they start like that. Legend, legend has it that the kids L'Oreal, No More Tears shampoo actually said No More Tears. I think we spoke about this before, did we not? No More Tears, yeah. So this is like, how did you interpret that word? Because tears and tears is spelt the same. Yeah. So see when we did No More Tears, and all of us would be like that. Let me just say, what was, Put it in my eyes. what was that thing again? The guy, it was like the eye, eyeball Paul. Do you uh -huh, know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just eyeball Paul and the, the shampoo. I had to test it out. It made me cry. And it did make you cry. Yeah. It's Anything not, that goes in your eye makes you cry, yeah, surely. Soap in your eye will make 100%. you cry. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Go She's it. a lyrical genius. But here, the, here's a genius. <laughs> not doing great today. Genius. <laughs> Get a wee you in there. Get a wee you in there. <laughs> lyrical genius. genius. But also... That was definitely no more tears, as in it's detangling your uh -uh, hair. Because I debunked this. What? So, Johnson she, and Johnson. She just nah, uh, uh, nah, uh, 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 finger. Big Johnson and Johnson actually place. responded to this, right? Oh. And they said it 100% means no more tears because it's for kids that don't have the... Babies don't have the function to be able to blink their eyes when stuff gets in their eyes. So that's why they have to make it no more tears. Why and it's would supposed it ever to, be no more tears? It doesn't make any sense. No, nobody says tears. But yeah, that's basically it. So it is... No more tugs. Yeah, no, that would be really bad. the same though. No, I know, obviously not. But it would have been that if it was ripping your hair out. If it was meant to be like a detangling situation, no more tears in I'm, your hair, then it would have surely have been no more tugs. I never, ever used to get that. And my friend used to get it. And I used to look at the oh. bottle in her bathroom and just be like, I envy you so much because she also had the bubble bath that <coughs> was the shape of like the sailor oh, yeah, yeah, girl yeah. or the mermaid or whatever. And my mum would just never fucking buy it. This didn't you like Redox or something like that? See oh, that? No, no the... Slate and Redox, by the way, because it's my favourite. No, but like it was always like, no, you're not using that for your hair. You've got to use, I think at the point, at that point, my mum was pure obsessed with Aussie. And I'm like, I don't want that. I want the one pound stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's in a cool bottle. That's in a cool bottle. So we only actually ever had that one, the No More Tears shampoo, when we went swimming. 
Oh. It was specifically the swimming one. Because one. Yes, that yeah. was why. And it was specifically the strawberry one that I loved. But here's the other thing. See the people who bought their kids matey? Uh-huh. That was an act of kindness. Mm-hmm. Oh, 100%. You don't realise, if you were a matey child, go and say thanks to your parents. Because yeah. that actually was the ultimate. Yeah. yeah. Bath time fun. It really was. Ironically, though, I've never bought it for my own children. No, because very itchy on the skin. It's not good. Right, this one, <laughs> I feel like... Right, so I got told this story personally, right? Right. By somebody who knew the person that I got told. To. It's genuine, okay. genuine non-fiction. So they say. So I'm literally in that position where I'm like, I heard this from somebody. And I'm wondering, did I, did I have I ever told this in the podcast before? Did I start this as a rumour? Leon, Leonardo DiCaprio apparently has sex while wearing massive headphones and smoking a vape. Yep. Yeah, right, that actually is... Are we doing the thing? That is true. Yeah, it's true because I've heard it so many times. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it's true. It could be 20 years old and it could have at one point been on another actor. But I'll just tell the story that I heard, right, was that there allegedly. was a girl. Just shout the word allegedly. It was a girl, but this is my taxi driver's son's daughter. Oh, God. Here we go. <laughs> so apparently um, it was at some like big fancy event and apparently this girl got like a tap on her shoulder to say, Leonardo DiCaprio wants to sleep with you if you want to go up to his room. So she was told to go up to the room. This is someone in Glasgow, by the way. This isn't. Like, well, I don't know if it was Glasgow. Is she okay, by the no, way? Because I just feel like standards are really low if you're getting a tap on the shoulder to say, hi, Leonardo DiCaprio wants to throw it in you and then leave you. No, but it literally did happen like that. So apparently she was told to go up, lean over the bed. Bend over the bend bed. Bend over the it. bed, naked. And then he came in with big headphones. And I didn't know about the vape but but, but maybe he was smoking a vape, done the deed and then left. I'm sorry, but how? why would you do that? Like, why would you actually do that? It's funny though because... Also, Leo, stop being a pure scrounge and pay for a prostitute. <laughs> You've got the money. I selfish, know. selfish lover. But he, um, weirdly, in my head, like, so that story obviously got told to me and then I remember telling it again to maybe one of you and I was like, oh, I think I've added a little bit of spice to that by accident because, and this is how Chinese whispers work, in my head, he wasn't wearing big headphones. It was a motorcycle. <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> Like, and it's kind of like the Imagine culture. Imagine it wasn't Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, let's go for a ride. Oh it could just be somebody, anybody that's hired a room. Yeah, that's true. But I think I was getting that mixed up with the cold sword advert. You know how the Survirax one where the guy keeps the motorcycle obviously, helmet obviously, on? That's natural. Why would you Why would you not mix up Survirax and Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio? It's, that's it's a very not, good point, though. Can you imagine that somebody that's like... Because maybe she didn't turn around. <laughs> Maybe she wasn't allowed. Did you see um, Sabrina Carp- Carpenter? Why can I not say her name ever? Sabrina Carpenter's birthday cake. No. no. For her 25th birthday. And it was like a massive big cake. And the photo in the middle looked like it was like off a Snapchat. But it was Leonardo DiCaprio's face. And it said like, gutted your turn in 25. You were so hot. Oh, <laughs> oh that's brilliant. <laughs> that's what he needs to do. Leo just needs to up the age range a wee bit. And maybe we get a nice, a nice long-standing relationship. Yeah. He's only ever yeah, gone to the 20 year And also, he? why is Leo held in a higher regard than like, so like Wayne Lineker? True. He's got the same thought process. Yeah. He doesn't like them to be older than 25 either. Weird. God, Ailey. It's creepy. What's next? Glasgow girl who worked for Emirates let a rich guy watch her shit while lying underneath her. Pardon? What? Gla- a Glasgow girl who worked for Emirates right. let a rich guy watch her shit. While lying under her. So this she is, should... Wait, a potty. This potty, sounds like that. It's re- rules are reversed. No, because no. it was always... Th- oh, yeah, rules oh, are yeah, reversed. Yeah. See the port a potty thing, though? That is a genuine thing that happens and there's, like, almost people pimping people out for it. Which was oh, basically... Pimping something out on them. It was, so yeah. <laughs> that was girls going to Dubai and to then... Be shat like, on. Emirates, to be Emirates. To be... Um, Waste bins. No, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like just went escorts. Right. Escorts. Yeah. Escorts, Did you see the worst video? kind? Did you see the video? No, I, I saw like a second of it, and then I could never watch it ever. How is it, if that is coming out of your body, you need medical assistance. Yeah, you should be spending your money on that. Like instead. my God, the honestly, you watch it and you kind of feel the relief for the person. <laughs> Not the person that's lying there fucking eating it, no but the, the person oh. that was releasing themselves. Was she being sick? No, she was, like, it was just falling all over her. It was awful, but it was like, it was it was like a chocolate fountain that looked like a korma. I honestly feel, I actually feel I didn't see it going down. My heart is, 
beating so fast. It was so bad. And the anxiety of that. That is How the could worst you ever... possible thing. How is that not torture? Like you smell dog shit in your book. Like the Hermes bag is not worth it, girls. No. It's not worth it. If no, that's no. what you're doing, it's not worth it. Every I'm time you look assume. at the bag, you think of it. I'm going to assume but also how much is not healthy. What? How much would it take? Literally nothing. What, to Genuinely, eat shit? No, nothing. For something to shit in your mouth, how much would you do? Nothing. I would need you to look be... You like you were actually going to spew I would, one. Need, I would need to be dead. A million pounds. No, I'm sorry. I, I no. physically... Two million. I, I would couldn't. never physically go over it. Okay, it's David Beckham, is it two million? David Beckham doesn't poo. By the way, I, I actually DM'd David Beckham to ask him about this story. No, you never. I did. No, you never. I thought, why not? Why don't you just call Tyler up? I just messaged him and I messaged Victoria. What did you say? Hi, David. How's it going? Funny faces. I love that. Well, we tagged him in the, so- in the, the reel that went on. I'm going to say that knowing how small the world is, there is absolutely somebody somewhere who has a weird connection to Victoria and David Beckham that would know a person that knows a person. Uh-huh. Think about how many views we've had on TikTok, for example, right? Mm-hmm. There'll be at All least of those one people know hundreds of person, people. There'll be one person that knows somebody that knows someone that knows someone that can speak to them. Yeah. What, and if when I'm going to phone our David and find out? Well, he's not actually He's on WhatsApp, surely. Just send them a WhatsApp. I mean, who's not on WhatsApp? Fire it on him and go, is this true? I also don't think that a lot of people would be tagging David Beckham and stuff or DMing him. Like, do people DM footballers? Yeah, I think so. Like, Do they? Oh, you're like, so great, mate. I'm just watching the 1997 oh, yeah. World Cup and I just think you're absolutely <laughs> fabulous. That's not nice to get annoyed at Charlie's message. Lot. That's actually if you're buying it order. <laughs> well, neither of them have even read the message. How so. rude That's and so ignorant. Bit. Just actually backs up the claim that she's a bitch, to well, be honest. It, no, she's actually not. She's, she's not a bitch. I love her. I love her too. I feel like she, um, throughout the whole Spice Girls thing, was... Massively underrated. So yes, underrated. She's got a pure good personality. She just didn't speak. And everybody, girl. everybody now is totally taking her style. You don't mm-hmm. realise that they, they're all, everyone now is living Victoria's style of then and current day. She's yeah. got a collab out with Mango just now. And it looks lovely. lovely. Beautiful. But I'm sure that her line was like not doing well for a long time no, it didn't it was losing loads it was yeah. losing like millions a year yeah. wasn't it but then she brought out makeup and stuff like that as well makeup was meant to be amazing she's like the original clean girl that she is really it is. She, she was the 90s clean girl when we were all okay we were like children back then but it was very grungy very like she wasn't the most popular Spice Girl who do you think was the most popular Ginger. Scout do you think so oh, she was the sexiest and she was the loudest and like yeah she was the main one I would say oh I thought I thought Emma I thought was Emma the main would be the most popular no I think Emma would be the, the people's person yeah true I think that Mel B is everyone's best pal yeah I think Mel C was the the business brain that kind of kept it all together because you always have that one singer she's the Perry in that group who is Mel C Mel C is the Perry the one that hits the pure good vocal oh yeah, right? yeah, yeah. she's also the mark in that group Westlife uh huh do you know what I mean you've always got that one who's got who's carrying the whole band who's basically. carrying the band yeah. and I think she, she did have a really one. good voice I think she was that one so for me she was like the main the main guy I loved her song with Brian Adams so they yeah. too. when you're gone when you're gone <laughs> oh, you had to go try and the bar. I feel as if everyone does. Everyone can try and do her voice. You just need yeah. to put a, little, yeah. a bubble in your throat and just try. Everyone do it right now. What? Who? I can't put a bubble in my throat. I, I can't. Mean. I'm very chesty still. I can't. Oh, are you? You wheezy. <laughs> I went sick. for um, Reiki. I feel like I'm pure flat today. <gasps> Tell us about your I Reiki. I went for Reiki yesterday and I feel like she might have chilled me out too much because I'm just a bit like this today. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I went because I was pure stressed. You're deflated. I'm deflated, but like not in a bad way. I'm just like it very... It was your cards that I've seen. Yeah. Tell us about your cards. So basically, re- um, Reiki, if anybody doesn't know, is like you lie there mm-hmm. and... The Reiki master, which I just want to, I want to do that job just for that title alone. Yeah, of course. The Reiki master, she like puts her hands on like different places and like is meant to transfer your energy and like move your energy about and like give you good energy. I don't really understand it. Clear blockages is in it your not chakras. chakras? Yes. There's chakras. There's loads of words. I don't really get it. I'm just like, I'll lie here and Did she do, do your magic. Reiki? Yeah, so she does. She's like How right you on your head. Feel about that? I, know, I was going to say, usually Reiki would be a good option for you because it usually requires extremely minimal touch and it's hovering above your body. No, she's, she's, she's like... full touch. Yeah. It's not like pure 
grow from you. Like oh, I never said it was. That was you that yeah. said. So yeah. where just, where does she touch? So she from? starts off at your head, right? Uh-huh. Well, she starts off at my head, and she was there for ages. But she'll like do different things, like push your shoulders down, and like I don't know. I can't really describe it. You lie there with your eyes shut. There's music on. She doesn't talk to you. She doesn't talk to you for the whole oh, thing. That. So it's like an hour long. And what were you thinking in your head? I was so stressed, and I like I've obviously got like a million and one things going on there now. So I'm just like lying there trying to like calm try to be calm mm-hmm. but she did say afterwards she was like oh your head's like chaos just now oh I was like i know i know it that. always is um but yeah she'll go around different areas and then she puts crystals all over you and um the jazzle yeah <laughs> <laughs> she puts like wee crystals on to like change your energy and stuff i can't really sell it to be honest but it is amazing. i think it sounds amazing it is really it's good. one of those things that people i roll at and andy's always like oh what are you doing but See if it works and you feel better, yeah. then it works. Uh-huh. Even if it's a yeah. placebo effect, it doesn't matter if you feel better afterwards. 100%. Then it's worth it. Yeah. See um, the Reiki that I had the first time, I fully burst in and it's I remember. And she was like, You're holding so much like tension in your throat. It's as if you're dying to say stuff and you're not able to I talk. I got that yesterday, by the way. She was like, As if you're what, did dying you to say no, stuff. I never got the crying thing, but she got like the, it was my throat and my chest. It was like, what, three things? It was like my head, my throat, and my chest or something like that. She was like, you're holding stuff back and you need to but I'm like I've got so much going on I'm trying to apply it to like different parts going is that yeah. what it is is that what it could be yeah um but the girl who does this is also like a wee bit psychic mm-hmm. so people that we've spoke to before who have seen her have had like a bit of a wee psychic yep. reading so you never know that was the same person remember I said that she then said to my mum <clears> I don't know why I have to tell you this but like I don't know you smell like my grand's house or something like that and mum was like no way Ella literally said that to me yesterday yeah like, you just smell like Nana's house such a random thing. It was literally the day before. I got, um, move into your true self, raise above the darkness, the light is there. Um, I got major spiritual spiritual changes are unfolding. Right, so this is the other thing that she said. Apparently right now, there is a solar flare, right? right? Which means, she's like, this is a scientific thing. It's like the sun, the position of the sun and then the position of the magma and the earth, Right. Whatever it is, does something Magma. to your body. Magma. <laughs> awesome powers. Does she doesn't that, get it. Does something to your body, Magma. right? right. And then it, it can bring up loads of like um issues, like any issues you want to resolve, like now is the time to do it. Um so she said that's what's happening. She's like they see a lot of people like going for Reiki and all that because they all their issues are resolving. Um, so she said this is your chance to soar divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided ha- and she talks about your your spirit guides and all that and <gasps> how everyone's got spirit guides and everything happens for a reason and all that is dead interesting and do you know what see if it's a lot of shite it still makes you think and you come out of it feeling pure motivated and yeah. that is it that's all that matters it's yeah. mindset it's even just changes your mindset regardless yeah. whether it's absolute fact or it's just a wee bit of a placebo like I said yeah then surely that's a good thing 100% and also see just the general like lying down for an hour and doing nothing it's always a good experience. I know she had said to me she was like you had you definitely had a lot of energy in like your shoulder and your um your feet because she was like like certain areas I'm over sometimes you could feel like a wee twitch or like a wee movement and I was like I'm just I was, about to go, 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 go kick, kick you. you no I was like I was sleeping I was definitely sleeping what do you wear you just wear your normal clothes oh yeah. right okay and then they pull like a thing over you but one thing that always happens to me after Reiki is I get a pure deep sleep yeah and last night and I feel like that's why I'm weird today I had a pure in-depth dream and do you know what it was? What? My recurring nightmare, which is that I've killed someone and I need to try and cover it up and that I feel like somebody's going to try and um, like chat my door and they'll find the body. This Why does that further, happen This further plays into the potential that you are maybe a psychopath. Imagine that. We were literally saying No, I feel like it's earlier, a past life. We were talking about something earlier on and then we were talking about like personality disorders and all that kind of stuff and we were like, right, the personality of a psychopath is this, 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 this and this. And you went, oh, I'm not going to lie, I kind of fit the criteria. <laughs> and now you're like, telling us you've had a dream you've killed someone yeah, and you to cover it up. But that's my recurring dream. Is it's this confirmed. someone an actual person no. or is it just you know I that you've really done it? I remember, do you know that way in a dream you can never you remember? you killed someone in a past life? Maybe. And then, I, or I've just always been scared of the police being after me. That's what I'm scared of. Guys, I never remember my dreams. Ever. I do. Like, I time. couldn't tell you the last dream that I've had. I've had the same dream for five nights solid. Which, which is? Ch- trying to resolve stuff. Yeah. And it's just you talking. Yeah, talking constantly. Yeah. It's the same dream every single night. It's That's also not so supposed weird. to happen. But see, when it's like the same recurring theme, I'm like, I need to go and... I would love to go into that past life thing where you literally go oh, and yeah. someday will like hypnotise you to tell you 
tell them all about your past oh, life. Oh no, but what also, if you're brand what, new though? But what if well, you're oh, fine then you're fine. No, but, but I also, think I'll be like, oh, I actually killed somebody. Yeah, I'm really also, guilty what, about it. What if I say something really like I'd be so embarrassed. See if I said, see if it was like a past life thing, and I said something that was like really weird. Yeah. I'd be so embarrassed thinking that is what I am actually like. What, as in, like, when you I lived in know. the war? Like, literally, like, I killed somebody or I stole someone's kid or something like that. Do you know, imagine you said something really, really awful. Oh, my God, I'd like to think I'd done some good in the past life. But imagine you'd done something bad and then you were like, right, so guess what you just said? You'd be going, oh, my fucking God, that is so embarrassing. Do they tell you? It's like being drunk and saying something that makes yeah. offence. I want to go for Reiki. Go and do it. Honestly, you would absolutely love it and you would feel really good after it. Yep. Go and do it. I want, I want, I want the wee chakra bit and also see like I messaged her last week right and it was like an impulsive like I'm feeling pure stressed so I messaged her and when I came in she was like I could just tell from your message like you needed that right now that's a sign that you had the feeling to go for Reiki so this is your sign okay yep go we'll get it we get out uh-huh you will love it honestly see which th- maybe she can do it before going on holidays mm-hmm. yeah that would be a really good time to do it yep see when I came out from Reiki I felt as if every colour in the sky was really bright every every colour around me was as if somebody just put on a massive filter over my eyes it was weird. You had a weird experience. I had a very it. weird experience with Reiki. What? The what she did say to me was, you're, 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 you're quite susceptible to these things. You're quite susceptible. Sus- yeah, like in my head, I'm not in my head. In my head, I'm quite like closed off, not closed off. Like I think, right, realistically, is that actually, I think like I always have that in the back of my head, mm-hmm. right? But she's like, oh, you're quite susceptible to these things. And then I walked outside, it was literally like, see if the sky was meant to be blue, it was your jacket colour, Lauren. It was like, everything felt like it was like on that vivid, yeah, thing on your phone. Instagram it was her. so weird. And I texted her. I was like, I felt as if everything was prim- like really bright when I came out. Is it because it was dark in there? And she's like, No, it's sometimes like a wee, a wee thing you can have after you've had Reiki done. <gasps> weird, eh? I'm buzzing for you to try it because you've yeah. never had it before. I've never had it. I'd also I started crying and couldn't stop. That would crying, be me. crying where the tears were just falling and there was no effort, mm-hmm. like cartoon tears. Or that another. very cathartic though it really is cathartic do you know another thing that you're like is meant to be really good for you this isn't like a spiritual thing right but um rapid eye movement therapy have you seen this, have you oh, seen it? Like this? yeah seen it. where you like you go over any like trauma that you've ever had and your eyes just go back and forward and apparently you can like retrain your brain to remember it in a different way yep so that you get over like loads of past traumas and people say it's really um powerful REM therapy and that if you don't do it the right way it can actually make you more upset. Was yep. Jamie Lang not doing yeah. this recently? Yep. Yeah. That's right, ain't we? Go look at us. I know. Holistic podcast. Do you know who I was listening to? I, was, I can't remember what podcast it was. Mm-hmm. Was it Olivia Atwood maybe? And it was um, Rylan, Rylan. Yeah. And Judge Rinder. What an unlikely parent. What a you? See for the first, see for the, genuinely no joke, see for the first 20 minutes. I thought Rylan was Pete Wicks. Yeah, because his... Oh my they God. sound exactly Thank the God same. Thank you said that. I thought that after listening to that podcast. Which was pure confusing me because then they were like, oh, everyone keeps thinking that we are together. Like, just because we're two gay men, it doesn't mean that we're in a couple. Like, and I was going, what? What have I missed, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> like, surely not. Have I missed a major life moment? Yeah, but they're yeah. like best pals. Are they actually? And they're not a, They're not a couple. They're just not best pals. They're actual best pals. Is Judge Rinder actually a judge? Yeah. Or is yeah. he a TV he's done, his, he's done his full back. Yeah, that is mental. Yeah. All of it. He's, he's are... real life, whereas see a lot of the ones, like uh, Judge Judy was also real life, but a lot of the cases were fake. So there was guys that were on, I want to say they were on TikTok or something like that, and they were saying that they used the cases to... cases were not fake. A lot of the cases The people were... are real. The cases are real. Yeah. The rulings are final. But they're fake in the sense that... It's like me going, right, well, we go on um, Judge Judy. And then I say, right, I'm going to sue you because blah, blah, blah. You're in an agreement. Yeah, they pay, that. yeah, but they pay you for going on the show. I'm really, really sorry, Nikki. Nikki I'm really, I'm so really. See, as, see, as long as we have the agreement that actually, if they tell me I need to pay you two grand at the end, we're not going to do that. Right, you okay. both get paid for going on the show. So this, like, um, these, like, group of pals used to just make up their own wee court cases, go in so that they could get on the telly. And it used to just be like daft stuff. Should we do it? Is it still a thing? Should we no, do it? No, it's not yeah. a thing still. What, Judge Rinder? Judge Rinder's still a thing, isn't Judge it? Is it? Oh, I thought he sure. was done. I thought it was still a thing. It's, they definitely have reruns then. Yeah, re- yeah, reruns always. But yeah, so Judge Rinder and, um, what's his name again? Rylan. Rylan and, you know Rylan's real name isn't actually Rylan. It's Ross. It's Ross. What? Rylan's his character name. Stage name. It's, yeah. Well, character name, whatever. Called the stage name. Right, right, okay, Theatre Lauren. But Ross right, would never have worked. Ross, Ross and would also, never have and worked. And also, it's Ross Rinder as well. So it's actually Ross and Ross. 
they're both called Ross. Do you remember there used to be like How actual... Sh- I'm sorry. I'm sorry if MD's son or <laughs> person's called Ross, right? Our brother. My brother's called Ross. Don't start. What are you going to say? Before you... Before it's you say so it, me think it's of it. such a strange name. See when you say it over Ross. and over again. Yeah, Ross. What was my name? Ash, 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 Ash. Ross. Weird. Weird name. Ross. Lauren. By the way, do you know what the funniest thing is though? I always think your brother's called Chris. Really? Yeah. That's weird, eh? I just don't feel like you talk about Ross a lot. No, I don't. <laughs> Ross is older. Ross is like five years older than me. Well, we are at home in no time. Anyway, right. before we head over to confession sessions, I have to say, just when you mentioned Ryland and Josh Rinder both being gay, but they're not in a relationship. What about us having our own resident Kylie Minogue over there? What? She's a gay icon. <gasps> Lauren. Lauren is a gay icon. I read this like in the middle of the night when I was yeah. in bet- having a wee break from my traumatic One dream. of our lesbian girls that listens said that Lauren, among all her other lesbian friends, is an absolute 10 out of 10 and they all want a piece. Thanks. By Thanks the way, self. this does a lot for my self-confidence. <laughs> Do really, you know? really does. I can't, I can't tell you, right, how much I would be gutted, absolutely gutted, if I was not somebody's gay crush. I'd be absolutely devastated. Aww. I want to be at least a wee half of someone's wee, gay crush. A wee half. A wee half. <laughs> wee half please, wee half-ash. please, I can't bear it. Do you know what I noticed, Lauren, right? give me one of them. It's not fair, okay. you get them all. <laughs> Another gay icon is Renee Rapp. And I actually think you kind of look like her. Oh yeah, oh, doesn't she? Well, maybe that's maybe what it is. Renee Rapp. Maybe you're the Renee blonde. Rapp, maybe you're the blonde girl next door. By the way, Renee Rapp's album is actually amazing. Like all her music is Unreal. so so good. Oh, I feel old. Oh, you you like don't, her? I don't. I don't know who she but is. You do. You do. I genuinely don't. Regina from the new Mean Girls. I didn't I watch watch that Regina. Uh huh. She's brilliant. Anyway, let's go over. We're going to record confession sessions right yeah. now, which will be available for you to go and watch and listen to on Wednesday since we're mm-hmm. splitting it up in the week. So make sure you go and click the link in the description of this podcast and sign over to our Supercast confession sessions because yeah. over there you actually get all of the old yeah. episodes as well. You do not get them on Patreon because they're not there. So if you want to listen to old episodes, you need to sign up to Supercast to get all them. Yep, we do indeed. Okay, let's go over, get that hotline bling. And if you do want to contribute to next week's episode, it is 07428 957885. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.